channel. I am Javi G Crafty. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get to the point. What are we gonna do? What am I going to do? I'm going to be sublimating on a mug, okay? Okay, so let's go. We're gonna be using Canva for this project. So you're gonna open up Canva. I have the paid version, guys. So um, you're gonna go there, you're gonna type, you're gonna create a design, you're gonna type and search mug. And you're gonna have, I love this because you have the little mug template there and like little mug up. You're gonna look or create your own design or you can use any of those right there. Again, this is not for selling, this is just for my coffee bar. I had created a design for my um, coffee bar sign. So I'm gonna use the same elements right there, okay? So again, you go to elements and you choose and, and search for the the things you're gonna want in your design so again my theme for this year it is uh, squirrels and um, that's what i'm creating right there guys if you have not watched my video please do so guys sublimating on wood so i did use the same design that i used for my um, coffee bar sign so again i'm adding those elements the ones that i have previously used for my sign Okay, and again, just a reminder, this is just for myself, is not for selling. Okay, um, I have the pro version. Again, right there, I'm going to be adding the text, which later you can change the font, the color, and there. Now I'll be adding the font. Um, so it's going to say, go nuts for coffee. Okay, I'm staying with the theme that I have for this uh, year. You can choose from many different fonts that Canva has for you. Now I'm going to effects. I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to go with curved um, letters. Quick reminder, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so at Jolly G Crafty. Okay, now I'm going to change the color of my font. So I'm doing a two-sided mug. So I already created the first, uh, the front part, and now we're gonna do the back. Very easy. All I want to add is his. Okay, so I'm gonna be creating two mugs, his and hers. So I'm just adding the text. I'm changing the font. I am going to be adding a, a few more elements into the design. So there you go, we have the front and we have the back. Now we are ready to download. So make sure you download as PNG. I have the pro version, so I'm downloading with a transparent background. Now I am downloading the second design PNG, transparent background. Now that you have downloaded your two designs, we're gonna go up to Cricut Design Space. You're gonna go to home. This is what you will be seeing in your screen. We are going to search and type mug design setup. Mug design setup. And you have so many different designs and templates that you can use but I'll be using the first one there, which is the design setup. Now we are going to choose from the different sizes that they have available. I will be using the 12 ounce Cricut mug. And again, they have the 15 ounce, the 10 ounce mugs. And they have different, like the edges. So I'm going with the small straight edge 12 ounce mug blank. So we're gonna choose that, and then you click on customize. And it's gonna take you to your cam to your Canva. So this is the template that we will be using 
up next we go to the bottom we click upload select photo from library click on the design that we had downloaded from canva we don't have to click on remove background because we did that in canva we click on print and then cut and then this is what we have now we have the design in our template we can change the size um, the way you like it to be on the mug and it's very neat because we can actually see where is the center now I am going to upload the second design again go to upload select um, design from your photo library we don't need to remove the background as we had done it before name your image and then you click um, save and it will be in your Canva again you do the same steps you can change the size and move it to where you would like it to be on your mug up next I'm going to click on the squirrel design hold down until it selects it you're going to do the same thing you hold down until it selects both of the signs you go to actions attach both then you go to layers you go to the teal one and you click on hide it and i'm going to do the same thing with the draw guide we, we hide it as well once you have everything where you like it you're going to select your template and designs you go to actions and click attach by doing this this will attach your design to the backing layer and then you click on make it and this is and it's ready to print make sure that you mirror the design before then you click send to printer Thanks for watching and see you next time.